All right. Okay, Fit with Faith team call for May 22nd. Welcome back, everybody. So like I said, um, today is going to be a little bit of a brief call because I, um, if you didn't see on social media, had a crazy day with having to have our car. It got broken down and we were calling like tow trucks and AAA and all this ridiculous nonsense. It's always something with us moms. So I had planned on getting up a lot of cool images and just doing a really nice slideshow. And although I still managed to do a little bit of a slideshow, just so you guys have something to look at and I can keep myself on since I tend to we are off like a freight train um we it's nothing special you'll see I had to throw it together kind of last minute on um, the slides anyways but tonight's a really important topic obviously we've got four vital behaviors for coaches and one of them is inviting and it's huge but it's also the most intimidating it's the one that we tend to feel the most no matter how long you've been in the business like am I doing this right what could I be doing better um, and especially for new coaches like there's just so many like right and wrong ways to do it I think but we don't always know at the beginning um, I did it totally wrong for months and had no idea. I was just doing it. Um, whatever. So hopefully this will add value and help you guys out. But I first want to start with, well, let me share my screen. Um, and let's see and pull up wherever I was in this PowerPoint. Nope, not that. I don't even know where I, where'd my slides go? Um, I hope I didn't just delete everything I did because it should be there. I don't see it. That's not good, you guys. I like minimized it to come over and now I don't know where it went. Um, seriously, if you guys think you can't lead a team one day, just look at me. Um, well, <laughs> where did all my slides go? I'm afraid to like X out of this because I don't know where it just went. Open other presentation. Recover unsaved maybe. Is that what just happened? Please say that's what just happened. Okay. Um, hold on a second, you guys, because there's nothing else for me to minimize. Wasn't under that. And it's not that. Okay. Oh, I wish Steph was on here because I don't know where it just went. Um, it's pink and it's white. Where are you? Slides? <laughs> um, okay, that stinks because I just took all that time to put everything into slides and I don't want to hold you guys up. Oh, wait, please say it's here. Please, 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 please. Oh, cool. Okay, well, I don't even know. Hopefully some of it's here. Okay, here we go. So you guys can see that, right? Somebody give me like a thumbs. Okay, cool. Okay, except that I don't see the slides, so hopefully they're there. <laughs> okay, so like I said, I couldn't even figure out how to keep a theme through all the whole thing. These are literally like plain white slides, you guys. I don't even know where it all went, so like, or what I was doing. But anyways, at least it'll keep me on track. So I just want to start with a little bit of recognition because people are nailing it on this team right now. Um, Val and Renee are both not on the call right now yet, but um, Val and Renee both just hit success club in their first month. Val hit it in like four days as a new call. <laughs> It's kind of crazy and signed up three new coaches. So she'll be officially Emerald on Thursday, which is really exciting. Um, so big shout out to her and Renee as well. And then um, we already have people, Shannon, like Nikita, everybody already has like challengers, which is awesome um, for you guys that are helping people get results. And um, okay, results. We are seeing so many awesome results in the best year yet challenge group today that people are posting. So awesome job um, to Renee and Ashley. I know Vales is going to be going up like tomorrow when her husband gets home, but one of the most important things that we can do in the business is to be focused on ourselves and getting our own results. And so um, that's super important that we're always kind of sharing and um, posting by working and that it's hard work. So I always want to recognize those results and I'll be hopping into the group because I know more of you are doing things and getting results. So I have to um, find everybody else's as well. But posts, Jasmine, like I said, you've been feeling it lately, starting to post more and showing your kids and your life and your faith. And I just feel like I'm really seeing a change in your voice and presence on social media and on Facebook and stuff. So I love it. You can always tell a difference when somebody's kind of just putting something out there to put something out there and when they're starting to like grow and be themselves and find their voice. And it's always really cool for me to watch. Um, so congratulations. That stuff is the biggest thing we can do right as social media really. So um, that's awesome. And I know it was like kind of hard at the beginning and it's weird for everybody and especially people who are more introverted or people that just don't know a lot about social media or people that are not very open about their lives like me. So big shout out because I know it's not easy, but you're doing great. 
Steph has a new cover photo. I saw that she wanted to get that up for like ever and ever and ever and ever in a day. She's been coaching like a year and that was just on her goal board forever. So I want to shout her out for that. It doesn't take much um, to do something like that. But well, it doesn't take much, but it's something that it's just easy to not do for a long time. So would go because everyone comes to your page now and they know that you're a coach and she's doing this awesome coupon group. And literally the girl's getting like a hundred people at a time and adding them to her groups. And it's insane. She showed me her inbox today and like, you can't even find it. She had like 40 messages sitting there waiting to be opened and like a billion that she'd already gotten back to. And these are all in a coupon group. What I love and I want to shout her out to is stuff is just passionate about like fashion and makeup and like, you know, couponing and she's so good at it and finding all the deals. And she just took something she's passionate about turned it into a free group, made her own little script. And that thing has been rocking for months. And all of her current coaches and like challengers are pretty much from one of her coupon groups. So it just goes to show that what we're trying to add value, it has nothing to do with each body. It doesn't have to have anything to do with each body. It doesn't have to be a free groups, fitness groups don't work for you. You don't have to use those. Um, I know I had a lot of um, positive reaction and reception from my um, debt free groups. And that's something I'm passionate about is finances and budgeting and helping people and stay at home moms do better. And I was able to sneak in some stuff about coaching and what it's done for me. And I also got people that I met and connected with through that. So just remember whether it's a prayer group or a, you know, seven day devotional thing, or, you know, a marriage group where you guys are going to read, you know, how to love your spouse better or whatever, or whatever it may be a kid group, kitty, so you can do anything. Um, that you're passionate about and have it work for you because you're you're the brand you're what you're selling not each body um so you just get to be you and it'll work for you um people are going to love you and they're going to want to work with you more so also i want to shout out um megan and kimberly murray are both running their own challenge groups right now. just felt like they were super scared and super nervous but wanted to just put it out there and do it and so shout out to them because it's not always easy it's not easy to run your group by yourself for the first time so i'm really proud of you ladies too um, so news, this is a bit guys, get your pencils out, write this stuff down. This is insane how much is going on right now at, in Beachbody. Like I'm really excited. I hope you're excited because we have so much coming out, going on changes. Like I feel like the one thing I love about this company is it's always exciting. There's always a million things going on and we always want to harness these things and really take advantage of them and utilize them so that, um, cause there's always something that we can use going on to build our businesses. So you need to, um, if you haven't educated yourself on what it is yet, make sure you do that. Go find the FAQ. Um, and just read up. It's that Leah Hondro guy who did like Brazil butt lift. And at least I just created a new little description for it and a YouTube video to add to the program recommendations. This is so great. Um, for people who are really overweight, people who are older, people who have not worked out in forever, people who have their kids home for the summer and they just want to get moving. Um, it's just a really, really great program. And I also have people that have done country heat and done programs a little bit more intense that are moms my age that have already tried UV2 and been doing it and said that they were sweating even more than in country heat. So I would not be so quick to push it over and be like, oh, it's just for like fat people <laughs> or like, oh, it's just for people who like whatever. Um, that's not the case. And it's really important for us to be doing every program. I tend to, because I'm a very fitness girl. I like my insanity max 30. I'm kind of all real intense. I tend to steer away from programs like this and be like, eh, whatever, I'll recommend them for people. But I will at least be doing, I'm really upset I missed the sneak peek of it with everything going on with my son, but I'm absolutely going to be doing it. Like in addition to my workout, one of these days, make a quick video just to show people what it is and make a post about it. So you always want to do something like that um, to advertise. People run UV2 challenge groups are using this right now um, for moms and kids. There's new kid-friendly workouts um, that are in Beach Body on Demand. So if you haven't checked those out yet, go in and look at the family workouts. And you can be advertising. I mean, that's a great way to be saying, hey, moms, like how, you know, I know it's hard enough to get everything done and, you know, take care of ourselves when our kids are in school. But now the school's out for the summer and there's nonstop, like, you know, activities, parties, festivals. It's even harder to stay on track. And that's why accountability is, like, extra crucial over the summer. Because we all want to look good over the summer and feel good in our reading suits on the beach, but it's, like, the hardest time. So why not have a workout that you can do with your kids? They don't need to sit there on the iPad and watch you. They can do it with you. Like how cute, how fun, how meaningful. So take advantage, leverage that, um, and make posts about that. Um, there's a lot of people, you got to remember when you're making these posts that need this um, and that are looking for a solution and you have it. So if you don't share it, if you don't put it out there, you can't be helping people. So just remember when you're making your post that that's what it's about. It's not about you. It's not about being, you being salesy. It's about you sharing. Um, and there are people that need it. I made a typo that is not the two day refresh. <laughs> so Shanti week is starting on June 12th. I am super excited about this. If you love Shanti as much as me, this is the first thing he's come out with like fitness wise in like three years. So they're calling this June 12th Shanti week. 
um, or Sean Week. And so everyone's doing the hashtag Sean Week. Um, there's images you can pull from Beachbody Champions page. If you're not on that Facebook page, make sure you get on it. It's called Beachbody Champions. You got to be approved by anybody who's a coach. That is where almost all of the news, breaking news comes from. When I see, like I get notifications all day long from that. There's free training in there, you guys. There's free scripts, stuff that you can just run your own business from what the top coaches share for free in there. So make sure you're on it. But they've got, Carl Deichler made a post in there. I think it was about um, our CEO. It was in one of the groups. Sorry, I'm in a bunch of them now, so I'm not sure which one it was. But about Sean Week, I'm going to pull that image and use it. Um, and I'm going to be in the middle of a program then. So I'm going to be doing it after, but um, the cold company is starting like June 9th with a three day refresh and then going into Sean week and people are, they're saying like, if you work it, you can lose like 10 pounds in that week. So um, again, there's some stuff on that in the back office. Changes to beach body on demand. Um, before we had that membership that was just for the old bod where people were, all the programs were locked and they could just do sneak peeks starting on, I think it's June 1st. I got to check back. Um, all of this came from the wake up call. The bod changes are now that everyone is going to be all access. And I was like, wait, how's that going to work? People that are already paying, they're essentially just going to be paying now to have all access. Um, so like it, it, whatever they were paying per quarter or whatever, it's just going to be that they're doing away with the old version of VOD. Um, so that's kind of cool. That's a really, 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 really cool way to um, advertise. But that free trial isn't going to be 30 days anymore because they don't want people to be able to finish a program. They want us to be able to use that as like a, oh, like if you want to do the 21 day fix, that's a charity, you've got to say make sense so they're kind of trying to help us as coaches so they'll be able to do it for 14 days um that free trial and the new challenge packs we've got two we have a bod all access performance pack so if you haven't been around for a while we've done this before with other challenge packs um where instead of shakeology they get the two performance line supplements so they're going to get energized and recover that way they've got a pre-workout supplement so this is really great for people so they're going to have a pre-workout and a post-workout this is awesome for people who don't want shakeology those anti-shake people somebody who maybe tried it didn't like it tried it and they've got sensitivities or there's a reason that they can't have it they already have a protein that they love whatever they're like i nail my nutrition i don't need it um, that's a really great way for them to, um, and then we've got people to like advocate, you know, we've got people, other companies and things that drink their shakes, but they want the fitness side of it for us. Well, again, now we have that for them too. And we also have a new portion fix challenge pack, um, with Shakeology. So now they're going to, um, I think it's $130. So it's even cheaper and they're going to get the portion fix like containers, like the meal plan. I think it's got a shaker cup in a month of Shakeology. So this is ideal for anyone. You guys all have them in your network like I do. The runners, the spinners, the yogis, the people who like are doing their own workouts and they're not interested in at-home workouts. So the people that are like, I love the gym. I need my time away from my kids. I could never work out at home. Kudos to you, but I could never do it. Well, we have a way to bring them into the challenge group because everybody needs accountability. So now we can get all these people in our challenge group. They don't have to be doing our workouts, but they can still have the challenge back and all of them, which is awesome. So a whole new thing has opened up people we can pretty much market to anyone and everyone now, no matter what hesitation they have or or what they've got going on summits the biggest annual conference of the year is our annual conference it is huge if you want to do something big in your business you need to be there that's all i'm gonna say um i had i talk about it so i'm blue in the face i'm all about events the people that show up to events feel connected to beach body feel like you're on a team you absolutely 110%. Like those of you that are on the call, you're already showing up, right? It's even so much more important. Those who show up, go up. You will have aha moments. You will leave Summit a 100% changed person. Your business will skyrocket and you will quadruple your income within usually 30 to 60 days after. Um, I can't say enough about it. I have a hotel room paid for. You are all welcome to come and crash on the floor. Um, if you live in Georgia, I am probably going to be driving a car from here. Um, so you're welcome to get in on that as well. I might be flying. I'm not really sure yet. But like I said, everyone's welcome to come and crash. And um, registration is still open. Think about it. Pray about it. Because... I don't know. It's one of those things that I feel like you're, it's so, it's easy to be hesitant. Like last year, I booked my ticket when I was still there. And I was like, well, this is, I don't know if this is smart. I'm gonna have a baby next year. Like what if my baby has health complications? Like what if, and I was like, no, I'm not getting myself that out. I'm all in. This is what I am. And so I'm going to be there. So think about that for yourself because I just can't say enough. And I would love to have more of our team there. I set a goal last year that I want eight coaches there with us this year. And so far I believe that there's four coming. So, um, there's a spot with your name on it. Think about it. Memorial Day is an awesome time for us to be marketing. Just like Easter, or Valentine's Day, like cleanses and things like that. Everybody is going to be feeling terrible on Tuesday morning, you guys. They've been cooking out, eating hot dogs, hamburgers, feeling bloated, feeling like their pants don't fit. It's not how you want to feel to start the summer. Everyone's going to be eating potato chips and everything else. So you can be absolutely 
talking to people. Um, I'm making a post about, you know, did you eat too much junk on Memorial Day? I know I did. I'm so ready to jump back in, blah, blah, blah. So utilize, harness that for your business. And I have another perfect way for you to do that because, oops, sorry. Um, we have some upcoming dates and I'm going to, I'll swing back to that Memorial Day thing. So I want you guys to write this down. If you've got calendars or agendas, um, I know I wanted a big, beautiful one this year and Aaron found one and I could not spend like $60 this year. So I just went down to one at like, what is it? $6.99 TJ Maxx. And, um, I just use this and it gives me a, a place for the month to put that, but I actually post it on the team page so I can turn this around. And, um, I can't with all of the dates coming up entire summer because I need to know with vacations and traveling so I just I just gotta get it all organized I don't want to be like wait when's the challenge group starting what am I inviting to because that never goes well right when we just kind of fly by the seat of our pants it will save you so much sanity it's just perfect so I know that right now um the coach sneak peek is going on started today hopefully you invited people to it if you didn't it's not too late I invited to people I invited like five six more people to it today and I will be inviting to it the rest of the week because I can just tag them in the first video or the second video if they've missed it and then they can catch up we can add people to that all month too I usually leave the group open so if anybody you know that's the biggest way for you to grow your business is with coaches because um, this is that's where the majority of your income will come from is from your team so it's important that they start as challengers, like we best coaches for, for work for as challengers, but you never know who needs this opportunity. Um, it's another thing we have to invite to, and it's a thing that I didn't invite to for far too long, and don't fall into that um, mistake as a new coach because um, it is important, and a lot of people need it financially, especially stay-at-home moms, and a lot of us are marketing to those women. So going on now, and then 6.30 on May, uh, sorry, Whoa, did I do that wrong? Yes, I did. That's supposed to be a five. So on May, May 30th, the team challenge group sneak peek starts. Put this on your calendar, ladies, the 30th. So that is the day after Memorial Day. I am starting a team sneak peek. I'm going to run it. You don't have to do anything. You get to advertise. You get to invite. What it is, is it's an event that I'm going to create now every month for our team to invite to. Um, this is what I need to be doing as a leader. And I apologize that I dropped the ball the last couple of months, but I always want to have a place for you guys to invite to. And it's something totally free. You can just ask people be like, Hey, you know, I have, I, you know, whatever you're, we'll talk about how to invite later and how you can invite to that. I'll actually, never mind. I'll use that as an example. And I'll stick back to it. Um, but inviting to that is just like an event. And what the event is going to do, um, is kind of just talk to people about how a challenge group works. So at first, the first day will be what this new challenge group is going to be. So I'll talk about what best year yet is, um, you know, how we're starting, what they can expect in a challenge group. We cover like what a challenge group is, the value of one, how it could help them. We talk about the results they can expect. So I'll have a day of transformation pictures where they get to see real life women who joined a group and what their results are. We're going to talk about Shakeology. We're going to talk about prizes and I'm going to give away a couple of free prizes. So it's totally free for people to do, but anybody who's been interested in a challenge group, anybody who's told you like, yeah, maybe, or not right now, great person to invite to that. And it'll probably push them over the edge. Also, I'm going to make this event public. Like I always do, because what that means is anytime that y'all are in that, you comment on something or you like something, it's going to pop up in your newsfeed and all of the people that you're friends with can see the posts I made about a challenge group, can see results, can see whatever. That can do a lot for your business, you guys. The very first time I ran a challenge group sneak peek, um, I got three challengers and hit success club just from that. And it was a two-day event. <laughs> so um, I think I'm going to run it for five days probably, but I'll get back to you on that. There will be one every week for you to count on, um, and it will always be taking place. Um, well, that's on the next slide. Sorry. I keep getting ahead of myself. So on the 30th of May, mark that on your calendar. You can start inviting to that now. And hopefully some of us will have people who on the 31st are like, I want to join. Yeah, maybe I should just make that like a day long sneak peek so that people can be signing up on the 31st. And some of us can hit success club at the end of the month that didn't already. So if you are nowhere close to a success club, if you've got zero points on the board, this right here could be the way that you get there. Um, so invite like crazy to it. Also, best year yet, um, that is my like year-long accountability group where I keep doing a, a new round of it every month. I am going to have a new preseason for that starting on the 5th of June. Um, from now on, my preseason is always going to be on the 5th. Um, and uh, sorry, not the 5th, the first week of the month. And my kickoff is, uh, is always going to be the second. So on the 12th of June, there's going to be a kickoff. That's when Sean T. Week starts. On the 5th, just mark down that's our team call. And then we're going to have another team call on the 19th. And there's going to be another coach sneak peek starting on the 19th. And then just to show you moving forward, like on the 3rd of July, there's going to be another preseason starting for best year yet. Now, 
this is my challenge group. Um, I never paired up with my coach again after the first apprenticeship. I don't think there was even really an opportunity to. Oh, I'm sorry. We did once this past January when I had my baby. But you guys, anybody who needs to, you're welcome to. If you only have like one challenger and you don't think it would be a great group. I love it when you guys pair up amongst yourselves. Um, and I'm going to talk about creating pods where we can run challenge groups with like five coaches, five coaches, whatever. Um, but anyone who ever needs to, my group is always here. Like I'm the leader of this team or with anybody, anybody's always welcome in mind. So, um, that's why I wanted to give you those dates for what I'm doing. So y'all know, and you're welcome always to do your own thing. Start your own group, start them on your own time, do them in just my challenge tracker app. Just do little ones, do whatever works for you. It's your business. So you do what you like team changes from now on. Like I said, preseason is always going to start the first week of the month. Always, always, always. And that's going to make it really easy moving forward. Everybody knows when to invite, what to invite to, if, if you're doing that with me. Um, this second week is always going to be my kickoff. I would highly encourage you to do something like this in your own business. So if you're going to start a year-long accountability group and you're going to make it like, you know, sassy and sizzling or whatever, like fitness and like faithfully fit or whatever your group might be, you might want to create a little name for it. And just re-advertise. I heard, I heard some top coaches saying that they have one name that they pick. I used to always have a different name, but that when they did, people were kind of following. They would hashtag it and like share what they were doing in the challenge group and share it. And people just started following and they always knew when a new round was opening up, she would advertise for it. And the spots were always full because people had just been following it the whole time. So it's kind of why I started doing it with that name and I hashtag it and all that stuff. So um, the third week of the month will always be the coach DP the team challenge group event. So then like what I was just talking about, the sneak peek will always be the fourth week of the month so that we hopefully get people who purchase and are ready to start with us in preseason the following week. And even if they're still dragging their feet, they still have that extra week. And the beauty of this system here is that if you think about it, we have an opportunity to hit success club at the end of the month, if we hadn't yet, by getting people to purchase who are going to be starting with us in preseason on that first week of the month. Okay. But we also have the opportunity to start the month with successful points on the board, which is the best way to start a month because we're getting people to sign up in that first week of the month with preseason. So this is a wonderful schedule. It's super smart. It's what I'm going to do from here on out. You guys always know what to expect. Also, I wanted to get you guys, your guys' take on this. So I'll unmute everybody at the end and see what you think. But for free groups, it's so important to do one every month. Like just, I can't even stress it enough. Um, to add value, to grow your business, to help people establish trust. And moving forward, I think it'd be great to have pods like where on our team we've got like, let's say maybe like I have one and let's say that like Nikita and Jasmine and Lorette, like you're in mine. And then let's say that like Stephanie has one and she has, you know, like Megan and Kent and Marissa and whatever. So we have enough coaches that we can form pods. And that way we don't all have to feel like we have to run our own group every month. You know that you're working with your pod and one person will be the one that puts up like the visual, like the, and like creates the group or whatever. And everybody can invite to it. And then each person will just take a day of those five days to post. And it's totally not overwhelming. Like, you know, it's just going to work well. I'm all about simplifying right now and making this easy for us. So we spend less time on it and it's still effective and we're still growing strong businesses by working together. Because obviously we're better together. But moving forward, I'd like to do that. And I think having maybe it be a set thing, like the second week of every month when, you know, there's a preseason going on that we're doing a free group. Um, but we can talk about that. I also thought about the third week of the month and then people can maybe purchase that love the free group and get in before pre, you know, before the preseason starts for the next one. So so we can chat and you guys can tell me what you think is best. Okay. So training now that I have like a hot five, six minutes to cover it. So how to invite, um, this is the number one vital behavior. Invite, invite, invite. Why? Because we can't be coaches. We can't help people. We can't coach people if we aren't inviting them to join us. But like I said, it's the scariest vital behavior because we just kind of get in our heads like, oh, well, like nobody wants to be salesy, right? It's the number one objection to coaching that I hear. I hear that I don't want to be salesy and I don't have time. And ironically, my number one objection was I don't want to be a salesperson. So this isn't for me because I looked at this as a sales job. So we don't want to be that person. Um, and you don't have to be to be successful in this business at all. There's a right way and a wrong way to do it. And so I'm here to help you see and figure out that right way. So First of all, I want to say that it's really important with inviting to be bold. Do not be apologetic. And we all need to be reminded of this, including myself every day, because what, if I haven't done my personal development before I log into my power hour, you better believe that I'm like, oh, like, is she going to feel like I'm bothering her? I'm planting her back more. Like, it's just, it's natural, you guys. We all do it. So I try to put the PD first. But also, it's important to be bold and be 
unapologetic, you guys. So don't apologize. Like, oh, hey, you know, I, I don't want to bother you. And I catch myself writing this. I don't mean to bother you, but I'm like, no, Kim, not bothering someone unless you think you are. And once you planted that in their head, then they're going to think you are bothering them. Don't say that. Your life changed for the better from this. And you are here to share some incredible opportunity um, with so many people. We don't know who needs this, right? That's why we need to invite, 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 invite. But like people do. And once you start coaching long enough, I can promise you this, that your inbox is full of people posting, like thanking you, telling you that they're, they've, you know, have faith in God again, that they're going to church again, that like, they absolutely love their body, that their marriage is getting better, that they look good in their clothes, they, they feel good again, that they can go to the park, which the one that made me cry, the girl fit in her wedding dress for the first time ever, the other one got back into her wedding rings. I've gotten messages about people who said they went to the amusement park for the first time ever in their life where they could actually keep up with their kid and fit the seat, the, the um, seatbelt and the ride to be able to ride the ride with their kid around them. I'm like, you guys, that's life's changing. That matters. Right. And once you have that, it will fuel you to keep inviting. I promise you. So just hang on to that until you have that for yourself, because it's so important to remember why we're doing it and to have that be in our head. Um, so be bold. And if you are really scared of inviting and you're like really paralyzed with the fear of like rejection or not hearing back, I so highly recommend go for no as personal development. Um, make a list of contacts first to work with. Brittany Saraki or Octavus. Here's another example of one. Um, this was from when I did um, well, this whole power hour somewhere over here. There's a whole list of the oh, mine's upstairs. I don't know. No, maybe it's right here. Of to, for you to work off. Of me. So I create lists all the time. Like I made just a big list of people that I knew that I needed to like follow up with or reach out to. Um, and so you can do it however works for you by having a contact list. There's like a memory jogger in the back office and there's like a whole list. It seriously helps you guys because I will find that I open up Facebook and I'm like, who am I going to invite today? And I seriously spend 20 minutes scrolling through my friends on Facebook being like, who did I invite? Who didn't I invite? Who I need to invite today? Should I, oh yeah, I talked to her before. It probably wouldn't come off weird if I invite her. And seriously, it's such a process that by the time I get to the invite, like, you know, my power hour is done. So when I have a list or ready to go, like you might want to take some time like we meal prep on Sunday sometimes and take time to actually sit down and be like, who am I going to invite this week? These are my three or five people every day. And I've got like 15 people lined up. That's who I'm going to invite. Or I've got 10 people a day lined up. I'm inviting 50 people this week, which is a great goal. Um, so what I did one day was I sat down and it was worth the prep. I put down everybody's names in these little circles. This is and I had all of them down and started to cross them off as I invited. And it was so much easier for me to hop on and be like, okay, Sherry. So I'm going to show you two what I'll do when I put, um, do your research first. So let me show you what I would do if I was going to send somebody an invitation. Um, actually I just sent you today. So I pull up one of those. So I will go to somebody's page. Um, and okay. So who could I go to? So, well, I actually know this girl. I want to find somebody that I don't feel like I know. So I'll go to my friends. So you would come on to Facebook, go to your friends, and new posts. Let's see that. Who made new posts? And this might just make me, okay, these are all coaches. <laughs> okay, so let's find somebody that I don't even know that I've added to my network. And I'm like, who is this person? So... Do I know her? I'm not really sure. Okay, so I'll go to her page and be like, do my research. So it takes a second. Roll through what kind of stuff does this person post? Um, so she shares a lot of stuff. So this is a terrible example. <laughs> So I don't really see anything. Typically, I'm like, oh, she's posting like Star Wars stuff. I love Star Wars. And oh, she's, okay, well, so she seems to possibly, that was all Mother's Day stuff. But I do like this background cover photo. I could say something about that. Um, but I'll just find something that we have in common. And then I'll be like, you know, hey, girl, I noticed that you, you know, uh, like I just came across your, you know, I was on Facebook and I came across your blog or I came across your page and I just wanted to let you know that I thought your blog was amazing or I love the stuff that you post. Um, you know, I, I see that you add a lot of, you know, do a lot of positive stuff, whatever. And, um, 
I post the same kind of stuff and I love that or whatever. I mean, there's just so many things that you could try to find somebody that I haven't talked to in forever or don't even know because I add friends all the time and then I have no idea who they are. Um, so that's something, that's a great way to just kind of reach out to somebody for the first time and start a conversation. And it's, I don't think I'll go, good gracious. Well, apparently I've been doing my job well because I like know all these people. So hold on a minute. <laughs> Let me go back to the slide so I don't waste anybody's time. Nope, I'm going to do it again. That's not the slide. Um, how do I keep losing these slides? It's so dark. So you have your list. You do your research, which just means that you go to their page. And let me tell you why that's important. In the past, I had it happen where I would go to somebody's page or I would forget to go to somebody's page and I would reach out. And you guys, I found out they were a beach body coach and here I was like inviting them, like, but like such an idiot. Or I made a comment about like, hey, are you looking to lose some weight? And then if I would have slowed down enough to look, they announced their pregnancy like a week before. And I was like, oh, she's probably not trying to lose weight right now. Not to say that she shouldn't be trying to be healthy, and, but I would have taken a different spin on it had I have known. So, um, definitely don't, there's a couple, I wish I could think of it right now for you guys. Cause I had a couple ones that were bad, like where I was like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that or did that or whatever. So kind of just slow down for a minute, see what you have in common with that person. And if there's somebody that, you know, a lot of times people are posting about going to the gym and you can just encourage them be like, Hey, I saw you posting about that. Like, I just wanted to tell you you know, that you're doing awesome. I do that a lot. Um, a good way to reach out to you is when you see somebody's birthday, just hop on and be that person that goes the extra step. I started actually Jessica Ohm, who's in our group right now. She signed up right after I reached out. We had chatted back and forth and then I didn't hear back from her. And I sent her a voice note on here. So I went into message and clicked on the little microphone. I was like, Hey girl, it's Kim. I just want to reach out and tell you happy birthday. Um, I hope your day is super special. Da, da, da. She like messaged me the next day and was like, it made my day that you sent me like a personal thing. Like I don't even know her. And you would think that that's so weird, but it, like people like hearing your voice because then you're like a real person, right? So that was the other thing I was going to say is um, using personalized voice notes. I didn't do it for a long time in my business because I just didn't know about it. It works really well. Um, and also because it only lets you do 60 seconds, you kind of have to cut right to the chase. Um, so, but like I said, do your research first so that you know a little bit about, you know, this person and what you're going to say to them. And then always add value first. So one of the biggest mistakes we can make is being like, Hey girl, I don't know if you saw that I'm a beach body coach now, but I'm running these awesome challenge groups. And I was interested if you want to join me like that comes off. You have to remember, you know, where your heart is and you know that you're trying to help people and you know what you feel, but to this person on the other end, like what makes you different than all the people that are spamming them right now, sending them LuLaRoe invitations and like adding them to groups without them. Like, and like I've gotten so many people that send me a friend request and then instantly post an advertisement on my wall. Like, I'm like, really? Like, I don't even know you. So there's a lot of that going on on social media. And so we just have to kind of keep that in mind that even if we know we aren't doing that, that other people might think we are. And so I try to always make my invitations different. And I'll take you guys into my inbox if you want and show you a couple of examples. But I'm going to send Nikita one right now and pretend that she's not a coach because I want to show you an example of what you could do um, in a voice note. And this is just an example. And hopefully I don't like bomb this because I'm on with you guys and Nikita, there we go. Okay. So I open up my message. If you can see this and I click on the little microphone and then I can hold, press and hold the button. So I might go to her wall. Actually, this is a really good example. So let me do that. So I will go over to her page and be like, okay, what does she post about? this is girl that's on my contact list. And so let me see if I could invite her to a challenge group. And if she posted about a challenge group, I'm going to pretend I didn't know that. <laughs> so, okay. So, oh my goodness. So I already love her cover photo. That's awesome. That's a great quote. I love that. Oh, she's a mom. Cause there's a picture of a baby. Okay. Her thing says she's a mommy of a five month old, a medical assistant. Okay. I'm going to put this a health and fitness coach. So, okay. So she has a kid. She works in the medical field. Her little boy is adorable. She's posting about food. All right. Okay. So this is enough for me. <laughs> okay. So I can go in there and I hope, I wonder if this is Dale trying to get on the call. Um, okay. Okay. Never mind. Okay. So I'm going to do this without even thinking about it. Okay. So like ready, set, go. 
Hey, Nikita, it's Kim McCloskey. I was just on Facebook and came across your page, and I just wanted to let you know that your son is absolutely stinking adorable. I have one that's almost the same age. Mine was four months, is, well, is four months, so we must have been pregnant, like, right around the same time. But it's funny, so I'm sure we're going through all the same things at the same time. You have to tell me how your little guy is sleeping because mine, oh, you know, he doesn't. Um, so hopefully you're living a little bit less exhausted than I am. But I saw he's already climbing up on stuff. That's insane. My little guy is not doing that yet. So you might have um, a crazy one on your hands there. So good luck with that. But anyways, um, I just wanted to let you know, I'm not sure if you've seen any of my posts, but um, I have running these awesome challenge groups that are kind of like accountability groups for busy moms who have little kids and have a hard time kind of fitting in workouts and taking care of themselves. It's so much more challenging as moms. So I'm starting a new one next week and um, we are going to be kind of pushing plans some at home workouts together, holding each other accountable, following a meal plan. It's going to be great. So if you're interested in some more information, just let me know. So that was exactly one minute. Okay. I kind of started to like, you know, at the end, get to the point. But I might just say, um, if I wouldn't have gabbed so long about her son, I might have just cut that part a second or two, you know, shorter and been like, you know, um, when I said, but anyways, and got to the invite, so you can see I spent almost half the message just being personal and then saying, but anyways, um, so I don't know if you see my posts, but I run these accountability groups for busy moms um, who are looking to kind of, you know, take care of themselves, you know, amidst all the mom responsibilities and do, you know, to kind of slim down a little bit for summer since it's right around the corner. And I was just curious if you might be interested in a little bit more information. You know, yeah, so something like, you know, running this group we, of moms where we're looking to kind of lose a couple of pounds or tone up, improve our nutrition, whatever. If you're interested in, you know, any of that and want some more information, let me know. So, and then I'd be like, you know, be posting pics of that, you know, adorable little son and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Hope to hear back from you. So for sure, but again, it's, it's, it's personalized. So if somebody hears your voice, they know that you're not a robot. It's already making you different than all the people out there that are just kind of spamming people, you know, especially when we use like scripts, people can usually feel that, which is why I typically write a new one, but then I'm spending a lot of time writing them. Um, and I tend to go on and on and on. And what I like about these 60 second ones is it keeps it brief. We're being respectful of people's time. People don't have a lot of time. And again, it does make you stand apart and they hear that they hear you, your voice, that you're not a robot. I know it's a little bit scary, but I can promise you that you'll get a better reaction to that or from that. Um, so think about trying that. And I'm going to fly through these last couple of brief things. So there's different kinds of invites that you can do. Like I said, you can do an event where you are inviting people to an event and that would be like a challenge group sneak peek. Um, what are some of the things you could do? We could do like, um, an, an, an event that would be almost like a coach sneak peek, but instead of being a group, it would literally be like, you know, beach body coaching. Like some, I've seen coaches do it for like Punta Cana, like the success or we'll do one for summit as a team. I did that last year behind the scenes at summit and I would invite all the coaches on our team to it so that they could be following along, seeing things and liking the posts and then people in their network could be seeing it and they can invite people to it that are interested in coaching. But again, these events are really, really great things that we can use to grow our businesses to and to invite to. And because it's just an event, you can do it from the comfort of your own couch. It's nice where like for a challenge group, they have to buy something to do it unless it's a free group with an event they don't, but they're still getting all the information. You can so invite to events like our state peaks. Now you can invite to um, buy a post on your personal page or if you have a like page. Um, and the best way to post invitations, you guys, is that we have like warm kind of invites and cold invites on your page even. You could be saying something. Steph is really good at this. So like let's say um, Nikita, or I keep playing on Nikita, so Jasmine, let's say you have a picture of your lunch and it's you've got your container stuffed up from like a taco salad and you're like, you know, all my friends are over here starving themselves and I can't even figure out how to eat all this food. Um, love my 21 day fix, you know, love these little portion containers that keep me on track and the convenience of the book, whatever. So whatever you're going to say, and then you can, you know, make a new paragraph or something and be like, if you, if you're struggling with nutrition or if you're tired of starving yourself and counting calories, let me know. I would love to tell you more about, um, you know, how much more you can eat or whatever. But that's like a really soft like invitation. So you're constantly letting people know that you're there, that you have something going on, that you like, so you're inviting them to come join you. It doesn't have to just be an invitation. This challenge group is starting this date. Let me know if you're interested. So I'm kind of constantly, I'm starting to sprinkle that in more. Staff does it all the time. Like, you know, if you struggle to take your review, like let me know, I'd love to help. Um, or if, you, if you're needing to chat, if you struggle with mommy guilt to you, you know, 
inbox me. I'd love to chat, whatever. Um, there are just invitations for people to come join us. And it can be about food. It can be if you want to know more about this shit. It can be anything. Transformations are literally like the best invitations. I have coaches who hit success club from like one post a month. And it's just when they share their transformation picture. Um, the top coaches say that we should be sharing the transformation picture like every single week and our own. And it might be that one week it's a picture of you smiling and you're like transformation Tuesday. And you make a post about how you used to never smile until you started this challenge group. And now you do. It might be a picture of you 10 years ago before you ever started beach body. And you're just doing a before and after like that, that person like was miserable or insecure or whatever. And like the way the personal development is changing your life. It might be that you were super shy that you, you could have never, I had a girl, I had an awesome one. I tagged some at the end. It was just a picture of her face. And I was recognizing a coach who for three months of signing up with me as a challenger could never post in our challenge group a picture of herself. She did not want to see herself. She was felt she was too morbidly obese that she was, she just could not. And the very first day I saw her smiling face and my name's B, like I just about blew up and hit the ceiling because that was huge that she had come so far that she could finally just post a picture of herself. And that's the stuff we need to be recognizing the smallest things or that seems small to us all across the board and the lives that are changing in our groups. Um, Brittany's really good at that. She did that last, um, like a month ago. She just recognized the girls in her free group. She didn't tag them. She didn't share pictures. She was just, I just need to give a shout out to all these people. And she put like that feeling you know, feeling proud or something. And she was like, that are rocking at my free group right now. You guys don't have to have a lot of challengers to be recognizing the people like, you know, that started today that, you know, loving all these ladies that are kicking butt day one, that have started a positive change in their lives, but you know, whatever. So we can always be doing that, but transformations are huge. If you have a client, you can ask them if you can share it and tell them that you really want to recognize them. But most important always is your own. And there's so many different facets of that. But like I said, personal development, um, things about yourself, you can share NSVs. That's a really great way to be like, ah, these pants fit. Like I put these on like last summer and whatever. You can take a picture of you pulling on your waist. Uh, you can take a, you can share that your non skill victory is that you just did your first unassisted push up. that you were always on your knees. You know, these are things to share on social media so that people can see that you are changing and growing and getting stronger and all that from what you're doing. Um, and then of course you can post about your food. Um, like I said, in kind of a warm invite that, you know, this is the kind of stuff that I, if you, if you have questions about nutrition or blah, 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 you can also invite in messages, um, phone calls or emails. So we talked about how you could just do a personal voice note. So you can type it out. You can make a phone call to somebody that you know, and you can do email kind of stuff. Too. So when should you do this? Um, like I said, you want to be posting some kind of invitation a couple times a week on your page, at least, if not more than that. And, um, you can have some of the co top coaches say that you should have some kind of soft invitation every day. Even if it's like, if you've got questions, you know, or, you know, if you want to know more about how you can stop counting calories and eat all of this food and feel whatever, um, shoot me a message or whatever, or comment below. So you want to always post an invitation to a challenge group or an event or a coach sneak peek or whatever, if possible, in the high traffic times on Facebook. We all know what they are. Um, but for me, I always shoot to make my invitations at night because that is when the most people are on Facebook um, and like a 7 p.m., 7.30 thing. If you post it at 9.30, 10 o'clock, a lot of people aren't going to see it before they go to bed, especially during the week. So I always try to do it then. If you post it at lunchtime, because you've got a lot of moms, you're targeting moms or nap time, whatever, that's great. But if somebody comments on it in the afternoon, I wait to comment back to them until it's like 7 p.m. so that it pulls it back into the news feed and it's recirculating at nighttime when a lot of people are on. So evening is best. And I also try to do it after a high affinity post. So you better believe when I announced that I was pregnant, there was a challenge group invitation right after that puppy because there was like 500 likes on that, you know, and when I announced that, you know, when my baby was born, I had to like hold back from, you know, because I've started to think of like my business in that terms of the most people are now seeing the posts. Um, so when you use an engaging question, like you can go on Pinterest or Facebook, or you know, you can research um, high affinity posts, like things that really get people engaging. Posting. Um, questions are really good. So asking people, you know, what do you struggle with more, fitness or nutrition? Simple question. It's one sentence. You might have a ton of fitness, nutrition, and that's a great one because now you have people to reach out to. Like, hey, girl, like I saw that you posted that you know you struggle with nutrition. I totally did to you, and you don't have to get right to the come join my challenge group, but just chat with people. You know, um, take it one step at a time. Don't rush the process. And I always post an invitation with a picture or a video. Um, because that makes it a much more high Facebook recognizes that as a more of a high affinity post and they will show it to more people, which is ultimately obviously what we want. Um, what not to do. I wanted to have time to get pictures of this, you guys, and I didn't, so I'm sorry, but 
I don't want you to cut to the chase too quickly. Like I said, where you're just like, come join my challenge group. Um, and I also want you to post, don't post products or facts. One of the biggest mistakes you can make is throwing up a picture of a challenge pack and being like new challenge. Start. I mean, that's, that scream salesy. And it's always funny to me that we all come in and we don't want to be salesy, but because we're new coaches, sometimes we're overwhelmed. We don't, you know, it's just easy to forget, to get lost, to not know. I know that I didn't want to be salesy and I did it as a new coach because I just didn't really know what to do. It took me a little bit to learn that like a way better thing would be for me to take a picture, turn my camera around, and take a picture of myself like this. You know what I mean? And put like challenge group an invitation or I could just have this and be like, or have a plate of food. This is next to me and I'm just like smiling after a workout and I share so that, you know, whatever. Um, challenge groups don't exist. Or I'm like, you might even just put, come join me. Now for a long time, I made advertisements where it was, I mean, I have so many examples of this. It's not even funny. Um, but I, they typically don't open when I'm on here. So this is it going to open for me. This is something that I would say is more of like an advertisement. Um, I don't think it's going to let me. <sighs> I have this problem every single team call, but you know what I mean? So it's a picture, you went to bed, um, a picture where it just is, how can I get this open? Anyway, hopefully my Google Drive will let me do it. Um, anyways, um, and I have found that I've been noticing a lot of the top coaches do, um, things where, is it gonna, no. um, don't they let you view it in something? Okay. Maybe that, <laughs> um, where it's just a picture, like I said, a picture of themselves. So even you might be thinking, oh, I'm a new coach. I don't know how to do that thing that Kim did with PicMonkey and all this stuff. To be honest, a lot of the top coaches are going back, getting super, super simple. It's literally a picture of themselves with the containers and it's like, come join me. Or, you know, whatever the title might be, best year yet, starting blank. And then they just put about it in the post. Um, I don't know if this is gonna open or not. So I found that when I made mine kind of advertising looking, they really didn't do as well. So simple, goes, but you will find your own way. You will figure it out as you go along. Um, yeah, that's all I'm sorry. My computer is a hot mess. Um, so, and now I don't even think I can get back to my last slide. Um, but anyways, hopefully, maybe it will open. Yes, no, maybe so. Um, I always have a picture of myself on there and that is what you got to remember is that you are building your brand. Um, so you always want to have a picture of, of you versus like throwing up autumn calories or throwing up somebody else. Um, unless, like I said, it's like a challengers before and after pictures. So I think I'm not sure if it's going to let me. Yeah. I think my last slide is just about numbers. I want to leave you with this. The reason why the vital says invite, 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 and not invite <laughs> is because we have to do at least three a day and be inviting a lot for this thing to work. So if you're sitting there scratching your head, like, why haven't I been successful at this yet? Why? You have to look at yourself truthfully in the mirror and say, have I been spending 70% of my time when I'm quote working my business on inviting people? And if the answer to that is no, then that is why you are where you are. And if you want to be where I am or where the top coaches are or where you know you could be, all you have to do is that. We complicate it. It's not complicated. It's really simple. We just have to do it. We have to do what we know works. And the only way that you get better at it is by doing it. And I want you to remember the top coaches, like Caleb Thomas is one of them. He's under Lindsay Matway, I think. He was sharing in a video that I watched the other day that one in 20 people will say yes to him. He's like, and I know what I'm doing. I've been real successful at this. I'm at the top, one in 20. But I don't focus on the 19 that said no. I focus on the one life that's about to change and I keep going. So I get another until that one becomes two and that two becomes three. And I look at it as 19 seeds were planted because a farmer knows that they have to do all that work, right? Till the soil, plant the seeds, water them, to get, and then they start to bloom, well, grow, germinate, whatever you call it. But it takes time, which is why those first three months as a new coach of when you're consistently working your business are so hard because you feel like you're doing all of that work. At least I know I was inviting three to five people every single day, five, six days a week for three months. And I felt like I was struggling to hit success club. And at month three of doing all that work, it was just like that alarm went off and it 
it started just building and doubling and everything from there. But I had so many opportunities to give up in that time because I felt like I was working harder than anybody else. And I was on the team and it wasn't working yet because it takes time. So the sooner you can start planting those seeds every single day, the sooner you're going to see that result. And you have to trust. Don't plant in what's the saying that I love. Don't pull up in doubt what you planted in faith. So plant it, pray about it, leave the timing to God and know that it might not be that person's time today. It will be later. That part's not in your hands. You can't control the outcome. What you can control is that you show up and do your job and that you do the planting. Okay. Leave everything else to God. Those 19 people also will now be watching you like a hawk and mark my words. They do. I have had so many people that have come back to me, people who told me like H E L L no. And I would, they were like, don't even, I've had two people ever that were ever in two and a half years, all my fears of getting rejected. Only two people ever were what I said would be almost borderline rude. Both of them became challengers. (laughs) And so I had to laugh when I got the message the one day because I was like, I wanted to be like, oh, remember when you told me you would never join me and I'm crazy, whatever. Guys, it's, it, if you stick around long enough, it happens. People are just like, oh my gosh, like it works. She's still doing it. And so many people have come to me because they said that they were watching me. Stephanie was watching me for a year y'all, before she joined me. And now she's my like top coach. So it takes time. Um, and it, that's why the only way to fail is to quit. So plant the seeds, plant them in faith, and you will get there. But it all starts with inviting. That's why it's the most important vital behavior. So I'm going to unmute everybody. And I'm sorry that this went, I was like, oh, this call is going to be so short. I don't have much to say. Uh, You guys don't even believe me anymore when I say that. So does anybody have any questions, anything that helped you that you want, anything that feared, you know, that whatever. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Like, um, just shout it out. Anything about inviting, like I said, questions, concerns, fears, whatever. Um, if you're thinking of somebody else's too. Okay. Well, then let's really quickly share what do, what, what are you inviting to today or tomorrow? Jasmine. Yes. Balance group sneak peek. Yeah. Nikita, what are you inviting to? Awesome. Okay. Lorette, what about you? I think the June 5th group. Okay. Yeah. So so right now you can still be advertising. You can still be, you can still throw up an advertisement for the coach sneak peek. Don't expect a lot of likes on it. To this day, I maybe get two, three, four, five, six. I think the most I've ever gotten is 10. Typically there's six out of 10 are coaches. (laughs) I still post them because Janelle Summers once told me in a training that, well, not personally, I wish she told me, but said that it is, she's like, they will be your lowest number of likes, but they are so important to post because people just need to know that that opportunity is there and that they know that you're going to post about it once a month. It's important that they know that they can come to you. It doesn't matter whether there's likes or not, they're seeing it. And I've had people message me behind the scenes because they saw it and asked me to be in it and people apply. So it does work. Um, but I don't do it for the likes. I do it for that one person that might be needing it. So just have to remember it is not too late. You can still advertise that like tomorrow and say, Hey, my team has a sneak peek going on right now into what we do as coaches. If you've been following me and you're curious what all this health and fitness stuff is about and what I'm posting about, and if it might be something that you'd be interested in or a good way for you to make money as a stay at home mom, you know, let me know. I would love to share adjuvants free group and share some more. It can be that simple. Um, so you can still do that. And you can send personal invitations to that like I'm doing right now. I'm going to continue doing that, but I'm about to switch over and start, like you guys said, inviting to the challenge group um, sneak peek. It's going to start on Tuesday the 30th. And Lorette, I would not skip over that if I was you because you could hit success club. If you have people that are interested, I know that you had one person that you said was interested in the 21-day challenge. I would absolutely add that person to that event. And anybody, friends, and family are the best way to hit success club as a new coach. Um, I would absolutely invite them and pull on the gill strings if you have to, but I would invite them and say, you know, um, we've got this great event starting. I know Memorial Day, everyone's going to be partying it up and eating a lot of yummy food. And then we're all going to be feeling bloated and blah on Tuesday. And that's when, you know, we're starting this sneak peek into what our, you know, a ne- our next challenge is going to be like. 
No, but you do have to know, are you going to be starting your own challenge group on the 5th? Are you going to be pairing up? Because I now have my new coaches that need to practice um, the challenge. So then I always usually have new coaches. So I can't always have all of my coaches stay with me. So you just have okay. to know, okay, I'm going to start my own group or I'm going to pair up like that's why I'm gonna I'm gonna make a post on our team page about pods and we can figure out like maybe who wants to work together, we can message each other or start a strand or whatever. Um, and see what works. Because the team is growing in leaps and bounds right now. So I know we're gonna need to kind of split off but um but Sounds I good. the sneak peek is a good thing for everyone to invite to. And then you can go right into from inviting to that into inviting to the new challenge group. And you guys just be aware that you can be inviting to once the sneak peek event starts on like Tuesday, I would immediately switch on and be inviting on, you know, Wednesday, the 31st, and then Thursday, the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth is when preseason will start. So I'm doing all inviting to the new challenge group. But I'm going to keep inviting and post like a last call on maybe Monday night for people on my page. Still going to send out some personal messages probably to invite on Tuesday the 6th. And I always try to have my deadline is like people are signed up by Tuesday. Um, and I might sign up some last minute people on like Wednesday morning. I just don't want them to be frazzled. If we invite people and get them signed up on like a Saturday when the group starts on Monday, they're not going to be ready. You know what I mean? And then they're not going to, we need to be most concerned about them and their journey and their results. And the last thing we want is set someone up for failure. Um, so that's why we need to know when our groups are starting and when they advertise and you know, when they need to be signed up by. So, um, I hope that this helped you guys. I'm super proud of everybody on this team. I know you guys that it's hard to make it a priority. And um, I do absolutely believe that this can change everybody's life for the better. So many ways I've watched it. I never, I signed up and had no idea what I was doing. I didn't have much support. I didn't really have a team at all. I still don't have any support. And I'm still here and I'm sitting in an office that I didn't have when I started. I had a Goodwill chair and a Goodwill desk and I borrowed my sister's laptop. And here I am with a laptop that Beachbody paid for, an office and a house that Beachbody is paying for, and a husband who's actually home to say goodnight to me because of the fact that I pursued this business and stayed consistent. And I've been imperfect, and I've slowed down and sped up, and I have made a million mistakes. I have micromanaged. I'm bossy. I lead, like, horribly, I think. And if I can do this, anybody can do this. So just remember that and keep inviting and it will happen. And always feel free to reach out to me if you need a quick call. Um, and Nikita, if you would hold on one extra second when everybody hops off. Um, okay. So Jasmine, Lorette, like I said, let me know if you got any questions. If you need anything, um, keep doing what you're doing and have a great night, ladies. Okay. You too. Bye. Bye. Um, okay. Nikita. So I just wanted to stand with you for a second um, because, or, Loretta, are you still staying on? Um, I am still here. <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. I just, yeah, I just came up. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Sounds good. Bye. Bye. Um, so Nikita, okay. Um, I don't know if Brittany reached out to you one-on-one -on -one or anything about what's going on, but she is kind of going to step back from the business for a little bit. Did she mention that to you? I mean, I know that you saw everything going on. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that I'm just going to treat you like a personally sponsored coach of mine, which I do pretty much usually anyways, but, um, Brittany has, obviously you could tell some stuff going on with her anxiety and things and binging. And she was just feeling like a sham for coaching. And although I don't think that's true at all, her therapist right now has kind of recommended that she kind of step away altogether for a bit because maybe checking into a challenge group and things like that might make her more conscious of food and things. Um, and although I don't really agree, I think she needs the support and the accountability right now. I'm not a therapist, I'm not a professional, and I'm not going to tell her what to do. Um, so we did talk, um, but she just right now is just going to do her and she's still going to summit, which is great. But I think she just is really torn is what she told me on what to do. Um, so I want you to know, I didn't want you to be like, ah, cause you, I told her it's totally fine because you remind me so much of me when I saw your why that you shared. I was like this girl and I, if I was like back, I'm like, we have a lot in common and your why is so similar to mine. And, um, 
I feel like a connection with you because of that. So it's just, it's my absolute pleasure. Um, and you're in my download anyways, you're on the team, but I want you to know, you can just reach out to me personally. If you've got a question, if you want to do like a 15 minute call, I do with a lot of my coaches when they're like, Hey, I just need to check in. Can we, I've got some questions or I feel like I'm, I'm not doing this great. Can we, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. I usually once to twice a month, try to check in with everybody in like a personal call. Um, and so do you have my cell phone number, by the way? Do you want to add it to yours real quick so that you can like text me or call me or whatever if you if there's anything, especially because if it's time consuming or time consuming, time sensitive. It's 716, because I still represent 597 <laughs> 4761. Um, but I didn't want that to throw you off because like I said, it's not it's not ideal when you sign up under somebody and then they kind of either stop what they're doing or whatever. And it's easy to kind of let it throw you off. My upline um, doesn't work the business at all anymore. Um, and our team page, are you even on that page, that team believe in yourself? No, I'm not. Okay, we were adding people to it and now I was like, this is embarrassing. I'm not even gonna add anybody to it anymore um, because she doesn't even post on it anymore and I don't even hear back much often from her anymore. So um, your situation is not that bad. I'm sure if you reached out to Brittany, she would answer you. Um, but I, it, I just didn't want you to feel like it would be something that would hinder your success because um, it hasn't hindered mine and it doesn't need to. And I think you are a rock star and you have been doing everything right. You're, again, you remind me so much of myself. So please just think of me for now as your personal sponsor coach and anything you need and anything you can absolutely discount yourself in on my my groups. I don't want you to feel like you have to run something yourself. But if you're like, oh my gosh, I love stuff and I love it and I really want to pair up like, you know, if you want absolutely feel free to do your own thing, but also know that you can you're always welcome and can just assume that you're in anything that I'm doing. Okay. Um yeah, you're welcome. And like I said, if you need anything at all, um you just let me know and message me. And if it's bothering you or you know anything, seriously just reach out because I won't know what's on here. But I, I consider myself more of like a life coach than I am like a fitness coach so seriously if there's anything and you're it's just getting to you and you feel you need to talk to somebody please I know that like I didn't know before this but I feel like our whole team is just a bunch of friends so um, I love having about anything especially about business because my husband is not so <laughs> all right well I've taken up enough of your time but I just wanted to let you know that and you're doing awesome and um and I'll talk to you soon unless you have any like anything no. uh, Oh, so I'll cut that off if I even know how to do that. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, girl. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs>